Morning everybody. We got a couple of cans of chunky stuff here on the table. Uh, tape measure, some writing utensils, some coffee. We're going to be building a uh, can dispenser of sorts. Uh, I woke up early, went to the local box store, bought these here boards from the warpy, twisty, bendy board bin. I figure I got about three, maybe four hours to build something out of these before they turn into a pretzel. So because yeah we know how that works let's get to it all right so here's the thought process the wall that we're going to put this on is three feet roughly it's about the amount of room that i have to work with it's bigger than three feet but we got about three feet to work with um, each can of chunky stuff is about three and a quarter in diameter so i figured you know times eight is 26 inches um, so I'm going to go ahead and go 30 inches high so that I can get eight cans stacked in the magazine in each slot. I did the rough math, roughly six slots in the magazine. So I'll be able to fit eight cans high, six rows of eight cans high. Um, this is just rough math. It's not going to end perfectly. I do plan on this side right here being open-ended so that I can pull cans out so I can have like a random stack so we don't have to pull all the cans out the bottom just to get the one we want we can have like a random stack because there's a lot of different stuff so I'm thinking that'll be something that nobody else has probably done before you'll see what I mean hopefully later and then we'll have our five slots of well it's only four here but Five slots of standardized, you know, baked beans, maybe chunky stuff, uh, refried beans or whatever, and then black beans, stuff like that. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. <sighs> Got the end cleaned up there, the side with the staple and the exuberant price tag. Um, I just noticed the handle on this barbecue is close enough to the right height for an end feed <laughs> when dealing with you know these 10 footers that actually works pretty good um so we're cutting our three foot sections i determined which part of the twisty bendy warpy boards were the best well, that's three feet ish we're gonna cut some three footers but uh, yeah that's a good trick if you have a gas grill wow actually that works pretty good look at that wet your fingers sometimes you can get better control on the Gap here. Ah, man, that's all over the place. There we go. That's close enough. That should be about three feet. I'm guessing. Money. Alright, I'm going to use this one as a template to make the rest of them that I need. I'm using the straightest pieces of twisty, bendy lumber I have. And, uh, I'll get back to you guys when I have the uh, four sides cut. We'll probably... All right, we're gonna make the first joint here. We're gonna do it in a manner that would make even the most amateur woodworker cringe. Um, got a framing square here. Now square at this point is purely just a luxury. It, it I mean, Here's a uh, Brad Miller 5 million. You, know, you don't want to nail your hands to the piece. Oh, let's check this again. Hang on. I want to get it close to square. Close. You know, not perfect. Never. Never going to get it perfect. But we can fix that later.
perfect. Put way too many nails in there. That way it's extra strong. Not bad. We can fix that. Cool. And it's got lots of glue on it so you know it's perfect. And uh, the square says, yeah. See? Perfect. Actually need to go this way. Good thing I saw that. Okay. So we're going to glue this up like this. Just like the other side. Get our square on there. We'll get it close enough. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect right now. Until we start adding the other pieces, then it, then with this is going to be more important. Even then, for what we're building, I mean, it's not super important. Looks about right. Perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna start cutting the pieces that are gonna go vertically in between the cans. So I've determined that they need to be 28 and a half inches. So let's go 28 and a half. Mark. Cut. Check. Twenty-eight and a half. Use that as a template. We got to build X amount more. So I'm going to go ahead and build those. And we'll see what we got and start putting it together-ish. All right, here we are building our soup dispenser slash soup magazine. Um, I just realized this is okay, but I need to rip these down because we need to have a lip here. There's a lot of reasons, but uh, anyway, I'm going to measure probably right about there where my nail is right there. I'm going to rip all the... Wow, that was random. I'm going to rip all these boards down uh, quite a bit. And we'll use the circle saw for that. But uh, that way, you'll, you'll see why, I guess, later. We're going to go ahead and do that. If you can see, I got my square set to three and a quarter. I drew a line right here. And the uh, chunky stuff will fit in there with a little bit of play on each side. So that's where I'm going to rip to. We're going to rip all six boards down to the three and a quarter. Alright, give you all an idea on how I'm ripping these down. We're using this one as a template. Template make our line right there okay well I'll keep on this that's the waste slide it in to our little jig sketchy one out of ten sketch level I would probably say like <clears throat> don't do this at home Probably like six out of ten sketchy. I mean, I've seen way sketch. This is not that bad. So that's how I clamp it. Yeah, probably good enough. I don't know. Got this here. Probably, I don't know, 50 year old one horsepower Black and Decker. Perfect. Come along with me while I make this cut. And we'll check it after and see how accurate she is.
Doesn't look too bad, huh? Who would have thought? Let's see. Is that in the neighborhood of what we were going for? I probably not. Trying to match it to these other ones. Oh yeah, the perfect match. You can feel it. Perfect match. Well, that's the template. This is the one we just cut. Where, where's she at? Where's she at? See, I have it set a little over. So, if I were to drop it under, it would be right there where it is. I have it set over because I needed three and a quarter. I put this over, obviously. That's right there. I don't know. What do you guys think? Probably dangerous, but not really. I mean, I've seen people do sketchier. We have two, three, four, five. We just got one more to cut. And then we can start assembling our can dispenser. All right, y'all. Well, we got a random rainstorm come through. You can see the moisture. It's kind of windy. Um, looks a little bit like Florida out here. I don't know. This is not Florida. It's not supposed to. There was nothing in the forecast like this, but uh, I don't know. We're just going to keep putting this thing together. Rain or shine, I guess. Wow. Let that glue dry a little bit and we'll add some more. Check on our roll. Looks about right. Yep. Chunky stuff rolls. We'll let that dry up. We'll hit it some more here in a minute. Uh, I'll let the glue dry. I get a clamp on that too. That doesn't look right. Okay. I'll get back to you guys. All right, we got four boards in here. I'm just gonna check to make sure. These are a lot thicker than most cans. A little bit wider. We did our clearance proper. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that this doesn't touch this at all. Cause if it does, we're in trouble. It, look, it slides right under, okay. Slides right under. Slides right under. I mean, it's close, but yeah. Check it on the ends. If this moves when that can rolls under, we're in trouble. Because that's not going to work. Oh, that's going to work. Uh, for this one, I'm going to kind of have to hold it. it. Doesn't touch. Okay, that's good. Let's come over here. Check this one. Oh, yeah, that looks fine. Check it on this side. It's not touching. Very good. Very good. All right. That's what we're going for. Barely clears, but it clears. And these are a lot thicker than most cans. The other cans are about a quarter inch smaller and a little smaller in diameter. And they'll fit in there just fine. Um, if these fit, anything will fit. The chunky stuff. All right. I got one, two, three, four in. I think I can do two more. Debatable. All right. We have it framed out. It's 
pretty much the frame of it. We all know the cans will fit in there. We have some more work to do. Um, I gotta put a back on it. I'm gonna use some old plywood that I have left over from when I built the chicken coop. So I'm gonna set this off to the side for now. And we're gonna get over here in our plywood section. We have some old plywood right here. Oi. I think this will work. Let's use on this. Perfect. So, what I would do, uh, I'll probably need to brush it off a little bit. Not really. Um, I'll get our unit here. See if we have enough. I already know we do because I did the measurements already. So, I'm going to go off the straight corner and see if I can make this work. Oh, see, I'm watching that corner and this corner right here. That looks almost, almost. Let's go, let's go. I don't want to cut more than I have to. So we'll line these up about perfect. And then I'll just trace. That, that looks about right. Yeah, it's an old piece of plywood, but... That'll work. That's what we need. We gotta put it back on this. So, let's get our pencil. Where did my pencil go? Oh, there it is. Underneath the hammer. Okay. We're just gonna kinda split the difference. It's a little bit of offset here. So we'll split the difference just a little bit so that it looks proper. Oh, clamps are falling off. Let's see if I can tweak it a little bit to get it to fit. There we go. Oh, look at that. Wait, nope. Just got to get it to where it's going to sit pretty and that side doesn't want to sit pretty with the other side tweak it a little bit just bend it there we go that looks a little bit better okay we're getting there we're getting there hey okay. we can bend it a little bit that's not going to hurt anything we're just taking it Moving it more towards square to the piece of plywood. Wow. Well, look at that. Well, nope. Oh, wait, you know, the low over here. And we're getting close. Just keep bending it until it fits. There we go. Bend it a little more. right there wow look at that see perfect all we gotta do is trace it all right I'll cut that out with the circle saw. Then uh, we'll mount that to there. Looks good. All right, so I cut the back plate out of an old piece of plywood. I could not be more happy with how this came out. I mean, it absolutely fits 100% perfect. So now we gotta mount the back plate the actual structure so I'm gonna have to flip everything over do all that 
and uh, so I'll flip everything over and then we'll start putting some uh, glue and some brad nails man this thing came out so perfect wow this is just a test fit I like it all right let's flip it over and get some brad nails going all right I'm gonna put a whole lot of glue on here try to even it out as much as possible I'll go around back to get the other side Just trying to even it out as much as possible without getting too much on my shirt A lot of glue going down right now. Keep it smooth. Looks good. I'm gonna come around over here. If I hit this edge. About like that. Alright, that looks good. Alright, let's get this piece of plywood squared up. Oh yeah, that, that fits that fits so nice. Oh my god. Alright. Let's nail it down. Airline's hot. All right, so I did a little bit of math and these pieces that I ripped off of these pieces when I did the circle saw stuff, they actually, that's perfect. Um, I just need to shorten them a little bit so we can have a spot to put the cans in. But uh, all I have to do, I got The, all these pieces right here, all I got to do is cut them down to 21 inches. And then they'll have a little feed. I got to make a little wedge for the feed out and put a bottom stop on it. But uh, these are actually going to... I'm using everything that I bought. This is rare. I mean, literally every board inch that I bought... Is going into this project so I don't know
I'm just gonna eyeball this last piece. Uh, gotta make sure the can can get out. So I'll check it on this side. Right there. Check it on this side. Even it out. I can get out there. I can get out there. Got to make it a little tight. Super close. I think right there looks good. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to run with that. I think that's about perfect. Let's check. I don't know. Watch the can not roll out. Oh, it rolls out. Stops. Rolls out. I think we did it good. Um, we'll do a stack test here in a minute. Um, I'm going to let the glue dry a little bit. There's a lot of glue. A lot of over over glue ah, Jesus not too bad though I mean it's functional we'll let the glue dry and we'll hit it all right here's a finished product well not completely finished uh, I believe we are going to paint on this but uh, just give it a try see if it works I mean can we push it to the limit all right that's a lot of canned goods let's grab one from the bottom perfect takes almost any size can mount this to the wall I mean that's just beautiful Beautiful. 